Hey guys, Sean here. Um, now, I, I like a lot of bikes. I may love every bike, but man, I'm loving this VFR 1200F. Let's look at it. Look how awesome it is. And these, these um, it's, uh, it's, you know, single, single-sided swing arm. It's shaft drive. It's very streamlined. It's got ABS. These bags, these bags just, this lifts up, these bags pop off. You, there's no support brackets. You wouldn't even think there was ever a bag, a bag to mount on there. I'm super, super excited to take this bike for a spin, guys. We're gonna have a lot of fun if we don't run out of gas. Look at that, this bike has 5,093 miles on it. Now this is uh this is a sport touring bike and this has got to be one of the uh one of the coolest sport touring bikes. I've never ridden one of these and I'm super super excited. You uh I was blown away at the specs. The specs on this bike is 180 uh 170 horsepower on this thing stock. It only weighs about 540 pounds um, this is a fast bike guys and this is a sport touring bike and it is so comfortable I mean I would take this bike anywhere I'll take this thing uh, you know it's light nimble you would fit you would you know hop on it go to work every day do a little commute you could take this thing to the track you could um you could run guys in their 600. This will this will smoke any 600 sport bike out there. This will take on any uh, 750. And if uh, if you have someone who doesn't know what they're doing on a leader bike, and you do, uh, this is going to take on the leader bikes. I mean, it's got leader bike power. It's just a little bit heavier, but when it comes to the ergonomics, it's so comfortable. I mean, I'm sitting I'm sitting right up, not bending over. This this particular bike actually has uh, like two inch bar risers on it. And they feel so good. This thing has tons of power in any gear. I like this bike. This is like a, I'm not an old man, I'm 29, but this is the type of bike that I think I need to be riding on on the street. Just because it's fast enough to get me around, I'm not gonna feel bummed out about it being so slow. Uh, it's a great touring bike. You're gonna feel comfortable. I, I would take this thing to uh, across the country. I'd take this thing across the ocean. I would ride this thing across the ocean. I would drive this thing to the moon. And it feels very nimble. Like, oh my gosh, this thing feels nimble. I mean, this thing feels, this thing wants to lay down in the turns just like the uh, CBR 1000 double R. I mean, it just lays down. I, it's just amazing. The ergonomics on this bike. I, I might not even sell it. I might just keep this bike for myself. This bike is so pristine. I mean, it's perfectly, it's, it's so clean. And, um, oh, and, uh, the coolest thing about it, it's actually a, uh, it's a V4. It's a V4 four cylinder. Um, it's really, really torquey. And um, it's a 1200. It does have ABS and it's shaft driven. This is about as low maintenance as you could possibly get for a bike this fast. And you know, the other bikes that are competing in this bracket would be like the, uh, like the Concourse. Um, which is the, you know, uh, the shaft driven uh, Kawasaki uh, ZX14, which is also a really good bike, but it doesn't feel as light as this. That's a big bike. It feels like a big bike. This is a small, it's just, I mean, it's not, a, it's not a big bike. It feels more like a leader bike. It's just comfortable to ride. And uh, man, is it, it's got power to spare. And it just wants to lay down. I mean, really enjoying this bike. Last time when I got on it on first gear, the tires started spinning. Guys, 
this this bike is fun. A lot of fun. If you're a young fella like myself and you're looking for something a little more comfortable, but most of these uh, cruiser bikes and and bigger bikes just don't have the power that you need. This is the bike. Bang for your buck, it's really hard to beat it. I mean, it's it's liter bike power, 170 horsepower, which is, I mean, uh, a 600, which most people consider as fast, is less than 100 horsepower. This is 70% more than that. A lot of fun. You can actually see behind you with the mirrors. Uh, you could put a girl in the back. I love these hard bags. They're, they're, they're painted the same color of the bike. They look like they belong there because they do belong on there. And uh, I just I love these ergonomics. I, I love the way I love the way. Uh, I mean, this is this is the most comfortable riding position for me. I, I could be on this thing for hours. You could drive this thing to. To the Tennessee, Tennessee, Georgia, South Carolina line, and you can hit the dragon tail, and you could drag some bag. The good thing about not having a chain is this is no maintenance. Nothing to get, nothing to get in there. Nothing to get stuck. Even though the uh, the adventure bike market is just soaring and going so high, um, I think the sport touring market is one of the coolest. It's one of the coolest markets. It's one of the coolest styles of bikes. I love the way they feel. I like the way they look. I mean, especially this bike. This bike's so cool looking. Most people would probably even confuse it for just a uh, a CBR 1000, but no, no. 1200 V4 Extremely nimble It's 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 got that that flickableness, you know what I mean? You could just bam throw it in the corner. Got the gear indicator, very helpful. Of course, it's a six-speed. You got your uh, you got your odometer right there. You got your timer right there. Not your timer, you got your watch. You got your. Uh, it's got the it even has the outside air temperature. It's 86 degrees outside. That's cool. It revs very fast. Hi guys, guys, I am loving this bike. If you see this bike for sale, I've decided to sell it. Uh, if not, I've decided to ride it for the rest of my life. Um, it's probably gonna have a few more miles in this. I'm probably gonna put some, you know, I gotta test drive it, make sure it's uh, everything's good. But you know, just getting this bike is perfect. But um, check check me out. Uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out more of my bikes. Uh, website is coming. I'm working on it right now. Should be done maybe about two weeks with all my inventory. I sell bikes, I sell them fast. The average, the average uh, bike that I have lasts nine days in my inventory before it's sold. I try to get them put on the uh, put on the internet as fast as I can, and I sell them very fast. So guys, this bike's gonna go fast. And because it's kind of a, it's definitely a unique bike. The VFR 1200 is definitely a unique bike. It's most likely gonna get shipped. Uh, I ship a lot of bikes. I got two bikes in here waiting to get picked up. Uh, to go to the East Coast, one's going to Texas. The other one's going to uh, California. So I wouldn't be surprised if this one gets shipped out someplace, some faraway land. And uh, all right guys, uh, subscribe to my channel.